Well, good afternoon. We're looking at conditions that are warming up after that cold start today that we just talked about. No more 30s here. Uh, what we are still dealing with, though, is wildfire smoke. Now, we had an air quality alert in Minnesota in effect until 9 a.m. this morning. When that expired, a new one was issued to uh, replace that one because we still have some areas of smoke creating uh, air quality issues right along the state line uh, in Minnesota here, these counties, and then points westward. A reminder that North Dakota does not issue air quality alerts. Alerts. That's why it looks like there's just a thin line of smoke when that's not really the case. Also into eastern North Dakota, we're dealing with the smoke as well. And this is in effect until 3 o'clock this afternoon. So still dealing with the smoke as we're making our way into midday here today. Here's a look at the latest air quality uh, index. You can see that there are still areas in yellow and orange. And the farther west you go in North Dakota, the brighter those colors get. We're getting into the oranges and reds. So again, that's where the concentration of smoke is greatest, right along the Red River and to the west. And some of us in that unhealthy for sensitive groups category mean it may be impacting you and um, impacting your health here. Uh, the good news is that it is slowly improving and that will continue in the forecast for today and into tomorrow. Here's a look outside. You can see just a little hint of haze as we're looking west on our sky cam here in Fargo. I-94 right there. You can see Sanford Hospital looking a little bit hazy there. So yes, we do have some smoke still in the vicinity and some areas where visibility is still a little bit low. We had some fog this this morning that's lifted, but places like Grand Forks, three miles visibility there, four in Grafton and Cavalier. Fargo's at seven miles. So again, with our numbers under 10, because that's the maximum looking okay over into more parts of Minnesota, that's an indication that we have something in the air. And right now it's looking like smoke. So here's a look at our temperatures. Nice recovery from this morning. We're getting into the 60s in most areas. It's 67 in Fargo, 64 in Grand Forks. We'll continue that temperature climb thanks to that wind shift out of the south. It's in the teens, a couple of gusts in Jamestown and Langdon into the 20s. So warmer air moving in. And a look at your radar and satellite map. Pretty quiet for most of us in the valley. A few clouds over toward Jamestown and Ellendale and that cloud deck still hanging on to the east, but a lot of us experiencing sunshine. We're looking to the northwest for a system there uh, that's producing some rain, some severe weather down in South Dakota. That's why that warning bar is popping up, uh, but we're looking to the north for the potential for some showers along the international border later tonight. Here in the valley, most of us stay on the dry side. We'll be in the low to mid 70s this afternoon. That wind still out of the south and and then again, watching for a few showers or sprinkles north of Highway 2 later this evening and overnight tonight as that moves eastward. Still looking pretty good for temperatures tomorrow morning. 50s rather than 30s and 40s like we saw today. And we'll end up with a nice mild day tomorrow, upper 70s, low 80s. This weekend, next chance for rain, Friday night, overnight, and into Saturday. And that cools us back a little bit, 70s for the weekend. 70, yeah, great weather to just sit and watch some college football. Sure. And then some NFL on Sunday. It's yeah. The, the perfect temperatures. And hey, you know, we're starting to see leaves changing. Good, yep. comfortable weather to do some leaf peeping too. So uh, that's starting up now this season. Definitely is. Lisa, thank you so much.